We talk today, we have some of TV's baddest. Please help me welcome to the show Sarah Clark from Fox's 24 and David Anders from ABC's Alias. I'm about to find out what these all-American spies watch when they're not trading secrets on their own shows. What makes a good spy? What makes you a good spy? Um, I think the, uh, the wonderful black uh, tailored clothes. <laughs> it's the, uh, what makes me a good spy is the, uh, the accent and the clothes and the, and the walk. And Give me a little of the talk. accent. Um, Mr. Sartre talks like this. It's more upper, actually. Is that Cockney? Is that upper class? No, what no, is that? No, very upper. Very, mm -hmm. very Oxford drained, I suppose. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not like Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting like hate mail all the time, both of you, or? I get repent. Like, please repent. Come back to the to the Lord. Please repent. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Yeah, occasionally, occasionally. Uh, you sh you're so awful. But it's most mostly the people that you know say that I'm the character they love to hate. By the way, feel free to bust out that accent any time that you use on the show because it's hot. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> do bark. Throw us off with an that accent. accent. I, I don't do I don't do bark <laughs> with an bark. accent. <laughs> you don't do bark. But you do do quite a few. Can you give us a few accents? Um, a few accents. Uh, you know, I do the, the, the British uh, that I get paid to do. And, right. Uh, you know, the, I auditioned for the for the part with uh, every accent, but um, I'm British. Like, so you go and you audition for for the part on Alias and every other accent, and then they get give you the British thing when you yeah, arrive. Yeah, well, it was Eastern European, so I came in with a, a Russian accent, and they said uh, we loved you. Um, come back with anything, but uh, so I came back with a German accent. So give me the German and the Russian. This is German is more it's somewhat like here, but uh, it's very tight. Um, I did it well. well. Yeah, <laughs> and the Russian? That I'm doing now. The Russian was very heavy. It made me seem like I was stolen or something like that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. There's something like about being a spy. You have to be multilingual. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, I know that uh, when I, I had to do different languages, but I had a coach. I mean, to just right. go and pull them out of a hat is kind of... Hard. Yeah, I've done a handful of languages, but I just did an American accent uh, for the first time, posing as a CIA agent. And, uh, On alias? Yeah, and an American playing a Brit and an American. And I you, played it like that. Do you leave more confused <laughs> at all? Um, <laughs> I was a bit confused. I was, I, I was actually very worried about how my American accent would come off, actually. On the subject TV, so you had one TV in your house when you were growing up. Now you've still got one, we know that, but you've got it hooked up, so that's <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, we had one, and it was, it was pretty much, you know, whatever the parents were watching, we got to watch. So, you know, my dad's a scientist, so we watched, like, Nova, mm -hmm. or that Nova. Ameri uh, amazing body, that kind of thing. I mean, they were all very interesting. It's all about making you an intellectual and intelligent and all that, I huh? guess. And then, of course, <laughs> if they go out and we have a babysitter, it was like, yeah, bring on the whatever the, like, dynasty of that time was. We watched it. Oh, Fantasy Island. That was always a big Saturday night. Love Boat and Fantasy Island. Now, why'd you like that? I think it was the adventure, you know, and the... I think for Fantasy Island, it was just like, oh, wow, all these different people coming together. And you know that it was... Island, everybody really chitches. It is. The little guy? Yes. The treasure island. Oh, Come to... That no, that's Fantasy oh, Island. Fun. And Ricardo Montalban. Ricardo yeah. Montalban. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Smiles, everyone. <laughs> I love that. Uh, reality, in case you haven't noticed, which we have here at TV Guide, they yeah. are pretty much the hottest shows on television. I mean, American Idol is pretty through the roof, fair to yeah, say, right. right? One of Fox's shows. Um, you guys reality fans? And I think the ones where you see people challenging themselves to, to the outer limits is m more fun to me than people that are just sort of, you're just watching them go through their daily life. I think that's... Like, for example, which ones? You mean, like The Amazing Race, you mean? Or right, yeah, things challenge? like that where you, you see these sort of seemingly normal people have to go to the outer limits, like, I don't know, Fear Factor, all these ones where you see people sort of testing them themselves. I think that's... I'm going to have to butt heads uh, here with Sarah. Oh, please Disagree. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, I've been a real world fan since the... Um, Oh, I'm a god Who are your sure. favorite characters from over the years? Do you have certain ones you like better than others? Um, I know the characters that I hated from the Los Angeles, uh, Tammy and Beth, and I kicked David out for taking a blanket off of her. <laughs> You gotta come be careful. On. She's gonna come after you. You're in Los Angeles. I, so, I actually, I actually, I, before before I got a break or whatever, I was on. Uh, I worked at the Gap, Gap in Beverly Hills, and uh, I'd help people every now and then, and I helped both of them. Oh, how funny! At, at uh, that's why you like. Oh no, Just you hate one. them, right? Did you, you like put them, them in pants face. that looked terrible on them and stuff? <laughs> I like that. Um, so we were talking a little bit before the break about your big break, and I want to know what it was. It had to be Alias, right? 
Um, yeah, absolutely. I got my SAG card with Alias, um, Screen Actors Guild, for those that don't. You're a young man. It didn't take you long to land on TV, did it? Uh, I guess. Two years. I moved to L.A. at 18, and uh, I was here two years just before Alias. It oh, so seemed like the longest two years of my yeah, life. Yeah, it probably but... was. Any secret, sexy, you know, viewing pleasures? I mean, you know, we keep it clean here, but like, or what is sexy to you on TV? Um, I, I, the Sex in the City, I guess. Sure. Sex in the City. <laughs> Not because of me. I know you Do you remember game, when Sarah was on Sex in the City? I, I, I'm trying to remember. We were just talking about it. But what did you play? I had a lot of eye makeup on. Probably didn't recognize me. It was like Tammy, <laughs> Tammy Faye. Definitely. Yeah. But I do often ask people if they think Sex in the City is really sexy. I mean, it's fun. I don't know if it's that sexy, in my opinion, anyway. I don't know. It's just in the title. I, I can't really think of many sexy things. I mean, I, Alias is sexy. It, it is. It is. is. Crazy sexy. Crazy sexy? What is that? Why? We've got, tell me again. Why is she so crazy sexy? You don't see it, Katie? Well, I do, it but I want to hear Yeah, I mean, you know, I guess because she's so bad at it. Yeah, she's yeah. so sweet. It, it, it has to do with the, her whole, the whole the character, you know what I mean? It, it, everything about her. And, of course, the sexy lingerie that she wears. What about news? You guys news junkies at all? I know I am. Yeah, I like to watch the Sunday news channels, uh, you know, McLaughlin Group, things like that. Uh, some t you know, it used to be that there was just, just one news show. I know growing up it was like we all tuned into Tom Brokaw at night. Yeah. And now there's so many. I think Jon Stewart is one of the oh, most delightful, you know, news shows because I think he, he really brings a great wit to it and, and makes it fun. And so it's not yeah. just dry. Daily Show is absolutely one of yeah. the best shows. So you guys TV. concur on that. Why I do you like agree. it? I because he's funny. Why? Because like oh, it's, it's the correspondence and the writing, yeah. and I mean, like the, the the titles for stories, like Mesopotamia. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? All right. It's 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 just brilliant and vital, and and uh, you know, I'd like to see John Stewart get a you know be one of the late night personalities on on network. But you think it needs that much humor? Late late night news, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he seems to be happy where he is. We're taking a break. We'll come back and talk a little bit more about comedy and some more stuff. So stay tuned. We're talking with these. Bad guys.